All right, guys, so we're on to our next project. What is it? Actually, we're going to bleed the cooling system. So I noticed that after I got the car that the car would run fine, the fans would actually kick on, but the system seemed like it didn't have enough fluid. Turns out, looked at my expansion tank, it didn't have it. So I filled up the system again, uh, up to the maximum mark, drove the car around, but I noticed still that it's going over that halfway mark. It's actually going a little bit above, and there was a couple of times on a warm 72 day where it almost got into the red, which is a total no-no. You don't want that because your oil is gonna to start to get too hot. Um, you're gonna lose oil pressure. It's very, very damaging to the engine. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is there's a bleed valve actually um, located um, on the engine where the upper hose comes through. We're gonna open that up. We're gonna raise the car up a little bit and follow the instructions directly from the manual to bleed out any air from the system. So another way that I could tell that this was happening is because the engine would be hot and at certain times, not all the time, I would turn the uh, I would turn the temperature in the car up, but I would get no heat. It would stay cool, which is also an indication of a possible thermostat. But we want to eliminate all the other possibilities before going through that kind of work. So we're going to go ahead and first get the air out the system and uh, see if that fixes the issue. So let's get started. So believe it or not, in your original manual, you have the cooling system on page, and not on page 61, but actually 62 and 63, it actually talks about right here, if I can focus and get the light right, bleeding the cooling system and topping off the coolant. So it talks about some things about reinstalling the drain plug and things like that. But it also goes on to talk about unscrewing this vent plug right up here, and it talks about then topping off the expansion tank starting the car and letting it get warm, the air bubbles should come out. So we're gonna follow these instructions. One added thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna raise the car up a bit because looking at uh, a lot of the forums and, and everyone talking, Ren's List um, and, and such, they say you know raising the car up some in the front actually does help. So I'm gonna add that added step. Let's get started with these instructions. So the next thing you do is you turn the heat all the way to warm and I'm imagining you wanna put two or three whatever so next you want to take a 12 millimeter put it on a ratchet put it right here you know it's don't get confused it's not this uh, one right here with the Allen which will probably loosen up this whole uh, piece here but you want to put a 12 millimeter here and loosen it up and I think you want to loosen it up it's kind of hard to see just till you see the hole on the side of this uh, the hole that actually is on the side of here to let it bleed out. Hold on, I'm going to put on the flat, the flash and show you. So there should be a little hole yeah, right there. So I can actually screw it down a little bit, but there's a hole right there you want to let it bleed out from. Now I'm going to fill this expansion tank with more fluid. I'm supposed to be able to see it start to leak out of that loose screw some, but we're going to kind of see what happens here. So we're going to pour some more fluid in. Kind of watch our level go up or down. Again, I'm taking note of the maximum level. And I'm waiting to see if anything's going to pour out over there. And I don't see anything happen yet. So that part of the instructions is a little interesting. Let's look. Dry as a bone. That's fine because we're going to go ahead and I'll focus that a little bit better. But move on to the next step, which is to close the expansion tank off. To actually close this down, but uh, basically tighten it loosely and start the motor. And I'm just doing this hand tight. And actually, I see just a little bit of wetness right there. Very interesting. So I'm just going to leave it about right there. Now again, if we go back to our instructions, I'm going to turn off this flat. Now again, if we go back to our instructions here, we see I followed the steps. Remove the expansion filler, well, unscrew the plug. Remove the expansion tank filler cap and slowly pour. The expansion tank should only take about half full, so to prevent any overflow once the engine is warm. 
Screw in the plug loosely. Start the engine and let the engine run. Increase the idle until it reaches operating temperature. That's what we're going to do next. So we've started the motor. Uh, and one thing to note, you actually leave that cap off until everything gets settled and you know all the air bubbles have stopped coming out from here and it's topped off. And this is the motor running. Horn like a kitten. Very smooth. It's actually now just getting dropping idle while it's warming up. While we're waiting, I'm a little bored, but I want to show you how calm and smooth this engine is running. I just threw this on top of here. It's moving a little, but it's not gyrating too much. The engine is, I mean, it is smooth. It is running smooth. Now, as you can see, it's coming out right from here as the engine is warmed up pretty consistently. Yep, it's getting pretty warm. It's almost to the halfway mark when the fans should start kicking on. I'm running at about a little under three bars. Idle's looking pretty good. Maybe just a touch high, but very good. All right, guys, that's it. The system has been properly bled. Uh, just a couple things you want to note when you're actually doing the project. Number one, you want to actually leave the filler cap on the expansion tank off while the engine is warming up. I don't know exactly why, but the manual said to do that, so we want to follow that process. Maybe some of the air bubbles and stuff can come up through the filler cap, I'm not sure. But uh, once everything's good, you want to go ahead and tighten back down the bleeder and then top off the system. I would probably do so when the engine is cold, just to be on the safe side, not right as it was uh, just hot. Also, something else to note, it does get a little bit of messy because you would think that just the air bubbles come out the bleeder valve and then you tighten everything down is perfect. No. Actually, some of the coolant itself actually comes out onto the engine block and as it warms up, you get a little bit of steam, um, that kind of thing, and uh, actually a little bit of runoff underneath the car. So just prepare yourself for a little bit of a, just a little bit of dirty thing. Also, just to note, when my engine did warm up, the fans didn't kick on properly. And I was wondering why. Well, you always want to make sure you check your fuses. My coolant fan 2 or 15 fuse on the car was blown. So I replaced that and uh, the fan started kicking on properly again. So this is just a really good project or it's just something to keep in mind. Very, very easy to do. But if you have to take out your radiator fans and your radiator when you're doing any work and you go back and refill the system back up, you know, you, you think that everything is good, but you might notice some, some different characteristics as the car drives and when you try to use your heater because there's air in the system, so the thermostat itself won't open up properly and close properly. Uh, so you want to go ahead and take the time to bleed it. Also, another note, I lifted the car up. I don't know if that's necessary, really, uh, in this case, maybe on some other vehicles, it helps out some. But on this vehicle, that didn't really prove to be a step that was actually necessary. So uh, that might make your project a little bit easier. So again, look at your manual, follow the process. It's very simple and easy. It actually doesn't take that long. The longest time it takes is the car actually warm up. So I uh, hope this helps, guys. I hope this was just something easy that improves your confidence and gets you out and doing your stuff. All right, take care.